How you doing, everybody? I'm Josh. I'm Ken. I'm Scott. Today, we're going to be making some brownies with Ken. Thank you, Josh. All right, today is the easiest brownie recipe you'll ever make. This is dangerous because you'll make it, and then every time your guests come over, you'll be like, oh, I got to make it again because they want me to make it. Speaking of dangerous, should I get the last of the leftover from my neighbor Ron to put in, you know, little adult this brownies? Is, this is not the adult brownie. This is the kid brownie. Oh. Well, it might help well, them sleep at night. <laughs> no, we'll keep it clean for the kids. All so right, all right. it'll be regular brownies. Maybe next time. So the first thing we're going to do for my brownie recipe is we're going to preheat the oven for at 350, pre-grease a pan, 9 by 13. All right, let's start with the ingredients. Okay. One and two thirds cup of sugar. We have two eggs. We have two teaspoons of vanilla. We have a stick and a half of butter. We have two tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, three quarters cup of cocoa powder, and one and a third cups of flour. I notice your butter looks a little runny. It's melted. Oh, okay. Scott, do you mind putting the sugar in? I would love to. Pour some, some sugar, sugar on you. Uh, 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 uh. Add our two eggs. Ooh. All right, there you go. Two teaspoons of vanilla. There you go. All Thank set. You. We'll just lower this. We will turn it on slow. And then we'll go a little bit higher as it starts to combine. And one more. And one more? Maybe one no, more. All right, we're Not, good. All right. So now we've combined those ingredients. And we'll add our one and a half sticks of melted butter. OK. Mm, I love butter. Butter's good. Is this salted or unsalted? This is unsalted butter. I know, I know. Then two tablespoons of water. Water. Like this. And then I'll put this in here. We'll lock okay. it. Again, carefully start it off. Again, we're just combining. Now, I notice you're using the paddle attachment. Why that, not the whisk? The whisk is gonna beat this thing and add so much air to it. We don't want that. Okay. We just wanna combine. So Josh, I need you to mix all the dry ingredients here in that bowl for me because you don't want to over mix. So by combining all the ingredients in here, you can see that if we were to put that in here, it would take this thing forever to combine them. Okay. It, it should turn to a lightish brown color, just like your hot cocoa mix. I think you missed a spot. All right. Okay. That's How's good that? enough. Good Perfect. Enough? Good enough for friends. All right. We're going to pour it in here. So if you hold that there, I will spoon it in. Okay. And we'll just go like this and like that. So we'll lower that in, we'll lock it. Again, low speeds to incorporate. Vroom! Come on, little baby, come on. So slow. Come to daddy. Oh, there, you can start to see it combining. Okay. We'll give it a little bit more. Wow. And then just a little zap, and we're good. That's it? That's it. That is quick. Do you want to get the Pyrex? Sure. And we'll get ready to I pour this. this in. I got that. Take this blade off. Uh, yeah. Sure. I could eat it like that. Now, this isn't like a normal brownie mix where a brownie batter where it just self levels. We're going to have to work a little bit after we get it out. That is thick. <clears throat> wow. It's thick, but that's where all the goodness is. Looks like mortar. I mean, this isn't very hard, but. Speaking of mortar, could you use it to use uh, build um, gingerbread houses? It's not a bad idea. And then you can actually enjoy eating your gingerbread uh -huh. house. Exactly. And we actually do want it to look all messed up on top. So you don't need it like perfectly smooth. Nope. Don't oh, put that. that is good. Don't put that back in the batter. Let so me yeah. get that for you. Oh, I appreciate your help. Bye bye. We'll leave that in the oven for about 20 to 22 minutes. We'll do a little tester with our toothpick, and then you've got brownies. What do you think we should do until then? I think we should drink. On that note, let's go get some beer. Done. Today, we are drinking Oscar Blue's 1050. It's an imperial stout, it's chocolatey, and it is rich just like our brownies. Oh, thank you, Josh. 1050. 1050. It's just fun to say fitty. It's more fun to actually drink the beer. She's up there. Whoa. It looks like a watered down batter. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, guys. 
Cheers. 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 Nice working with you. Wow. Mm. It is rich. It's and rich, creamy. but it's but not too sweet. Welcome back. It's been about 20 minutes, so we're going to go check our brownies with my trusty toothpick. All right. Now it's time for the final taste. Oh, that's a nice presentation. Mm. I like Thank the you. mint. Very nice touch. I wanted you to think it was oregano. Mm. I love my child, but these may be too good for her. I agree. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have them all. I think so too. All right, guys. Here are my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> these are dad's brownies. And we are going to take one little piece. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so Kate, what do you, why, what do you think of these? If you say they're bad, you're in trouble. They're really good. And they're really chocolatey. All right, Nigel, what do you think about these spectacular brownies? Not that I'm trying to push you in any direction. My favorite, my favorite part is the chocolatey and um, how it's, there's a thin layer of crisp on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then it's, very chewy on the inside. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Ian, what do you think? Yeah, I like how it's chocolatey and chewy, and I like the powdered sugar. Okay. Do you think it's too chocolatey? No. Okay. Mariah, what do you think? This brownie really reminds me of cookies. Okay, I'll take that. And Samantha, what do you think? The brownies, they're really, really good, but they're not quite as good as my dad's brownies. Shocking. But honest, I'm sure. Thanks, guys. And see everybody next time we'll make another great dish on Dad's Diner. Hey, she's not that crazy. <laughs> Who'da thunk? Brownies were a big hit with the kids. Every dad should have a good brownie recipe. Let this be yours. Thanks for watching Dad's Diner. Come back and see what we're making next time. Questions, comments, suggestions? Send us an email. Dad'sDinerWebSeries at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.